Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I'm here in Cabo San Lucas uh, in a hotel room about three, two, three minutes uh, from the boat marina and the beach. So in this video we're gonna see if Cabo is actually dangerous. I just looked up on my phone here. Uh, it says that Cabo San Lucas is the most dangerous city in the whole world with 111 homicides per 100,000 inhabitants inhabitants. I was in Acapulco a few weeks ago that was then said to be the most dangerous city but now it seems like Cabo is a list here of 2020 the most dangerous cities in the world. So what we're gonna do today we're gonna walk out to the suburbs and check it out and then we're also gonna walk downtown down to the boat marina we're gonna see for ourselves if it seems like it's dangerous here in Cabo. So let's head out. We're also gonna jump from the building here into the swimming pool before the sun goes down. We're gonna jump from that building and into the pool there to the left. So I've been here for a, a week now almost. I haven't filmed that much but what I've noticed is that every time you go on the street people are asking you if you want to buy drugs. There's always somebody coming up like every two minutes somebody comes and asks. So there are actually a lot of tourists here. So many Americans uh, which is strange because um, it's considered to be so dangerous here, the most dangerous city in the world. But still, there's no like, usually there's a travel advisory on different websites. But it doesn't say anything about Kabul, but for Acapulco and other places in Mexico, they have a travel advisory that says, do not go there, absolutely not. But here there's like so many Americans, I hear people speak American English everywhere here. After one year in Mexico, I had not seen anything dangerous at all. I got stopped here by uh, David and Keith. Drunken. And uh, they've lived here in Cabo for several years, right? You've been here for several years. How many years have you been here? Six years. Drunk for six. Yeah, and um, he says he has not seen anything dangerous here for six years, right? I never even saw a fist fight. No fist fights, nothing. So uh, I don't know where the information comes from where it says that it's the most uh, homicides in the world. All right, Keith. Now, Hi, my where, are we, where are we going now? We are going to the most beautiful view in Cabo. Yeah. Uh, Cabo Villas. It's a Baja Brewery, my friend owns it. Another oh, building, really? my friend owns it. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yourself. We gotta cross the street. Okay, we're gonna cross the street and we're gonna go to the, oh, the beer route. truck. We follow the beer truck. <laughs> We were walking through the marina to the east part of town in the area of a beach called Playa El Medano. I believe it's the longest beach and from here you have some really great views. So here is the boat marina in Cabo. Look at this. So many luxury boats here. I want, I want one. It's the most second, it's the second most expensive marine in the world. Really? Take a picture of this. Yeah, it is. Yes. It is. Keith, he knows everybody here in Cabo. <laughs> So here is the walk you can take uh, around the whole marina here. It's a really long walk. I walked on it the other day when I almost drowned when I swam out to the famous arch here. But now we're gonna head up to what they say is the best place here with the best view where you can sit. And they have lived there for several years, so I trust them. Gonna be married. David's getting I, married. Right. Walk, the girl did the teeny twister. <laughs> it's his second wife. Oh, second wife. Yeah. <laughs> Here is the mall. This is what Keith said. Yeah, oh, If you ever, hey David, how do you get drunk? So I was gonna find out if Cabo was dangerous or not, but that didn't go according to the plans. But we are now walking a bit further out, maybe to the suburbs. So we will see. But we haven't seen anything dangerous so far here in Cabo. So David has been taken by the police. We'll see how this is gonna play out. Now they are over there speaking to them. We'll see what's gonna happen. He's going to jail. The police, police came. Help. He was... What happened? 
He's gonna hold up. He's going with the Trump tank what? for six hours. Six hours? And the only, no, only reason is... You cannot pee on the streets in Mexico. You will be yeah, taken Yeah, two blocks, two blocks. Yes, okay. Yes. David has been taken, Keith. To the jail. What are we gonna do? How, is he well, gonna be set free? Or? So what's gonna happen is gonna... He'll we be back, in, he'll be back shortly. Here, at this rooftop bar, with I think the best view here in uh, Kabul. You can see everything. Look here, how incredible. So it's the first time I'm seeing this beach actually from this viewpoint. Really nice. Huge beach. We have all the resources behind here and uh, you can see the incredible mountains. That's where I swam to uh, not long ago, to the arch. We were in the middle of the town, right in front of all the expensive hotels and apartments. As I had traveled in Mexico for almost one year, I had realized how quickly a lot of the beach towns in Mexico are expanding, simply because they are so nice and more and more people want to go there and live there. Keith says that these cost a million dollars here. All the um, it's, apartments it's starting. are it's starting. starting at million a million dollars. dollars. But you, you, you I'm not that. surprised. You see the view here. It's incredible. <laughs> I'm really happy because I wouldn't have seen these places if it wasn't for you. So <laughs> really Cheers, nice. Guys. Look at the mountain. So it's the Baja Brewery. Usually when you're drunk, that's when you make really, really bad decisions. I used to do it all the time when I lived in uh, San Marcos, Texas, and I went to college there. So many bad decisions all the time, but um, I've been behaving pretty good in the recent years. But I do have a beer here, so cheers. Me and one of my friends, we won one time 13 beer pong um, games in a row. So here is the beach area in Kabul. Lots of people here, actually. A lot of people on the beach. We're gonna see if we can talk to some people here. And uh, the resorts and hotels here in the background. Keith, we are here. We met some friends from the well, US. We have to go. Hello, everybody. How are you? The views there. There is Ali. She lives in Cabo. I see. This video. When I started this video, uh, I was gonna see if Cabo is uh, is dangerous. Do you think Cabo is a dangerous place to be? Cabo? Uh, no. We went to La Bonita last night. Strip club. Not dangerous. No, not dangerous. What about like? How long have you been here for? Uh, only one month. One month. Have you seen anything dangerous since you've been here? No. No. Well, that's great because. Uh, and I'm a solo solo woman. According to. Uh, uh, Google, Kabul is the most dangerous place in the world with uh, 111 homicides per 100,000 uh, people. But every people, every everybody I met today have said that Kabul is not dangerous. So you also confirm that it's not dangerous here. Well, so that's good. As long as you're like, have your head on your shoulders. Yeah, you gotta be, gotta be a bit yeah. careful. Yeah. <laughs> So we left the beach side of the town. Now we're actually in the, I guess maybe suburbs. So right here to the right. I'm here with Pietro. He's, uh, he's the owner of this bar, Inforno, <laughs> here in Cabo San Lucas. Restaurant. Restaurant and bar. Very, really nice. You can get some really nice drinks here and also food, right? Uh oh, yes. yes. Good, very yes. good food. Yes. We had come to a really nice restaurant in Cobbles and Lucas. So here I met Luigi from Italy. Luigi? It's Super Mario's brother. He's Luigi. the brother of Super Mario. Yeah, yeah. he's from but Italy. My, my brother is, is go to Italy. He's yeah. in the Italy now. Super Mario went Super to Italy. Super Mario is in Italy. <laughs> but Luigi, name. he's here. He's lived in Cobble for five years, right? Yeah, and now. 20 years in the world. Yeah, and you're a chef here. Yes. Chef Luigi is he the best. The best chef here. Great, great, great success. Keith knows about the best places in Kabul. You can email him if you want. <laughs> I had traveled around in Mexico for one year and I could honestly say that I feel more safe in Mexico than what I do in Sweden. We are in Las Vegas. <laughs> 
They're singing here. Very good. So I came back to the hotel, my friends. Now it's time for the pool tricks. The pool tricks have been completed my friends, so this will be the end of the video. But thank you very much for watching this video, I'm a little bit cold right now. Uh, please leave it a thumbs up, post a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because in the next video I'm gonna fly out of Mexico and then you can see where I'm going in the next video. So see you next time. 20 minutes later. So this is what I was gonna film actually, now I'm really in the hood, I'm going to uh, the convenience store here and uh, I forgot this is what I started this video for to see what it's like in the in the hood of Mexico now I'm actually really in the hood here we have OXO so I bought some uh, noodles from the convenience store here and I'm walking back on this road hola Please leave this video a thumbs up, post a comment and let me know what you think. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, see you next time.